What's going on people? Gunnarsson here. Finally, the Premier League is back. I am going to be giving you my Premier League predictions, the whole table. Also, I'll be giving you who I think will finish top goal scorer, the top assister, the top clean sheets. But, where will Arsenal finish? Comment down below. Because that is what I'm going to reveal at the very end. My opinion on where Arsenal will finish. So, I'm going to give you the rundown of the table. Make sure you like the video and you subscribe. Let's go! Starting from 20th, I feel Fulham will finish there. 19th will belong to Crystal Palace. 18th will belong to West Brom. 17th goes to Aston Villa. And 16th will go to West Ham. Yes, the three teams, Palace, Fulham and West Brom will all get relegated. That's my prediction. And whereas with Fulham and West Brom, these two teams, the biggest yo-yo clubs in the Premier League alongside Norwich. So, and Bilic, got a lot of Premier League experience, but not the best. And I feel like with their defence, I haven't seen enough of them that will say to me they're going to stay. It's the same with uh, the attack. The Angana is a good sign and Pereira is a good player. I feel like he will be a good Premier League player in the future. Same with the Angana, but Charlie Austin, that striker? Nah, he's been relegated before with QPR. Struggled at Southampton. Yeah, and whereas with Fulham, it's similar to them with their attacking lineup. Sorry, but I'm impressed with the way Fulham have handled their transfer window. They haven't gone on splurge 100 million like they did. You know, the season before when they were in the Premier League. And I look at Aston Villa as a side that will get going. I do have faith in Wesley and Samata to actually get some goals in. And I feel like Greenish, especially if he stays, he'll improve and he'll get better. And he'll keep Villa up again. I like the look of uh, John McGinn as well. He'll have a full season. Douglas Louise, a talented footballer. Tyro Mings will get better. And I've seen more of them as the other three teams. So, yes. West Ham. You know what? The reason why I, f I feel like they'll finish 16th is because of literal West Ham fans. The ownership between the club. The way they're buying plays out of nowhere without the research they've done. And the fact that West Ham fans just don't believe in their team, I feel they'll finish 16th. Uh, whereas with Brighton, they'll finish 15th in my opinion. Newcastle made a brilliant uh, window so far with the signs of Wilson and Ryan Fraser. Those two players together are quality. And I feel like they'll help him along with Sam Maximan. Oof! But the defence and the midfield, oh, I don't know. But... They will finish 14th. The 13th place will go to Sheffield United. 12th will go to Leeds United. Look, they are a decent team. They sorted out their striker issue. I think Bamford is a championship striker at best. And they've gone out and bought Rodrigo. Pace, aggression, work rate. He's got all of that. And he will get, grab a few goals as well. But I feel like they'll get burnt out towards the end of the season. But they will be around the top 10. But yeah, 12th. But 11th place goes to Burnley. This team, with their style of football, bores everyone. But, I can't lie, they always finish near amongst that position. And they'll continue doing it again. They've had a brilliant season last season. They've got some decent players. Tarkovsky is a wonderful defender alongside Ben Mee. They've got one of the best goalkeepers in the league in Nick Pope. And their goal scorer, Jay Rodriguez, Jay Rodriguez and Chris Wood are decent. Dwight McNeil, they've kept him. He's going to get better and better with his set pieces and his passes. And yeah, I feel like they're 11th. But 10th, this is where it gets crazy. 10th will go to Ralph Hasenhutl's house. Ralph Hasenhutl's Southampton. Look, Danny Ings has done brilliantly for them. I feel like that they do need to improve their midfield a little bit with Hoiberg leaving to Spurs. But the defence... Looking really good. But the attack is where it impresses me. The management of Ralph Harsen Hall. He's just going to get better and better. So I think for me they'll finish 10th. 9th. Right. This bit here. The 9th towards 7th. 
is very complicated for me. Leicester, Spurs and Everton will finish in those positions. I've got Leicester finishing 7th, Spurs finishing 8th, Everton finishing 9th. Everton could have a better season than last under Carlo Ancelotti. But do I think James Rodriguez will cut in the Premier League? I'm not sure. He's going to create chances. But will the likes of Calvert-Lewin consistently take it? Bernard, Alex Iwobi? I'm not too sure. Yes, they've signed the likes of Ducore, uh, Alain, and that... That is the reason why they'll get a top half finish. But I'm not convinced by the defence. I'm not convinced by Michael Keane. I'm not convinced by Yeremina and Pickford. But they're a club that always looks to finish 6th, 7th, 8th, but always fails to make it. That's why they're going to finish where they are. As for Spurs, Mourinho, it's a tricky one. A lot of people think they'll finish top 4. A lot of Spurs fans, West Ham fans, even so. And they made some very good signings with Hoiberg, a proven Premier League talent, and Doherty, one of the best fullbacks in the league. But I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. They haven't replaced Ericsson for me. Lo Celso, good player, but I think he'll struggle. Harry Kane, very injury prone. That's my full reason. I do believe they will win a trophy. I do think that... Mourinho will take Carabao Cup very seriously, and I think they might just nick it. But they'll finish 8th. As for 7th, Leicester City, that's theirs. But Vardy might, might take the dip. He'll have a dip in form. But regardless, I think Madison will get some goals and assists for Vardy gets back from injury. And Rodgers is a talented, uh, talented manager. But in Europe, it's going to be key. If they improve their strength and depth like they got with Pryor and Tielemans, fair enough. But they need a striker. If they don't get a striker, they will struggle. Because no way is Vardy going to be fit for the Europa League, then the Premier League, then the Carabao and the FA Cup, all of that all together. So, yeah, 7th be Leicester. 6th will go to Wolves. I look at that side, solid foundations. They did very well in Europe last season. But then going to continue improving on the Nuno Espirito Santo. Class defenders. I think Conor Cody is one of the most underrated defenders in the division. I feel like they need to replace that right wing back. They let go of Doherty to Spurs as I mentioned. But they're looking very good. Class midfielders in Moutinho, Neves. But the main focus for me is their attacker Jota, Jimenez, Paul Dentz. The striker they got from Porto and the main man himself, Adama Traore. These players are going to get better and better under Wolves manager Nuno Espirito Santo. They keep improving and they link with Alex Tellez. And for me, this guy will storm the Premier League. And that is why I feel like they'll finish sixth. But now, this is where it gets crazy. Who's going to finish the top four? Who's going to miss out? I'm going to go through who I think will win the league. Starting at the top, as we've finished it 6th, Manchester City. Bigger strength and depth in term against Liverpool. Yes, Liverpool were absolutely phenomenal, but post-lockdown, fell out of form. Lost against Arsenal, struggled, I think against Burnley and Sturge, whereas with Man City, they got a bit better and a bit better. And Guardiola's going to be more motivated than ever to finish on a high with Manchester City. And Kevin De Bruyne is going to get better and better. He's going to finish the top assistant for me. But yeah, Man City over Liverpool. Just because of the strength in depth. I don't think that Liverpool will cool off and finish like third and fourth. I feel like Liverpool will reach the heights they did the season before last. But I think Manchester City with Sterling, Foden, um, providing that Aguero is fully fit. Yeah, Jesus. Bernardo, and they signed the Ake as well. So they got some top class players. They get Kyle Luka Lebali. That's it for me. I feel like he'll be the best defender in the league alongside Van Dijk and Laporte. So yeah. Right, Chelsea will finish third. Reason being, the reason being, Kai Havertz, Timo Werner, Hakim Ziyech. Those three signings alone. We'll take Chelsea to the next level. They're going to have a lot of games where they're going to concede goals, but they're going to score a ton of goals as well with Ziyech taking corners. Ooh. 
Oh, class baller. But Havertz is going to be that goal scoring midfielder they needed. And Werner's going to be that top. He might be the top goal scorer in the Premier League, you know. Him, Aubameyang, Salah, Mane. All of these four players have to be looked out for. And Huminson. Yeah, those top five players will be in it. Um, but yeah. And then finally, where will Arsenal and United finish? Fourth for fifth. Fourth for fifth. Sorry, United. Even though Van der Beek is a class player and they've got a decent defence, I don't trust Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I don't trust him! And I feel like with Martial, he's going to be very inconsistent again. So yeah, I'm going to pull it out there. Providing that Bami Yang signs a new deal. Providing that Arsenal do get Ua and uh, Partey over the line. One of those two players. We let go of a couple of Deadwood. I have full faith in Mikel Arteta to finish us in the top four. I look at the way we finished the league. Not the best. But the way we won the FA Cup, the way we claimed the community shield, shows massive signs of potential under Mi jefe, Mikel Arteta. Mikel Arteta is the Mbappe of management football right now. Very young. Very young manager. He's not even 40 yet. Already won the FA Cup. And this guy's going to be drilled. We signed the likes of Gabriel Macales. Ceballos re-signed on loan. Saliba's come back. But we also made a big signing in William. Underrated at Chelsea. But yeah, Magales, Sabayos, and William are three key players that are going to help us in the season. And um, that's it. Okay, now I've given you my Premier League table. Time to give you the top goal scorer, the top assister, and who's going to win what. So, top goal scorer for me, I'm always going to say it, Pierre Ricobam Yang. If he wasn't banned for those three games for that little reckless challenge in Palace, he would have been top goal scorer. Facts. He was a goal off of Vardy, which is a shame. But he'll get it. He'll get it. I don't think Kane and Aguero are match fit to go through 38 games a season as Aubameyang is. But I do feel like Werner will get up there and catch up with him. I feel that that will be a massive fight. Who's going to get that? The Golden Glove was won by Nick Pope last season. But I actually think that um, Manchester City will get it. Yeah, if, especially if they sign Kalidou Koulibaly. I think Man City will get the Golden Glove with Edison. Uh, the Champions League winner, I'll say this after I go through the top assist up, De Bruyne. He almost broke the record of Henri. And he might do that next season. But as for the Champions League winner, I'm going to go for Bayern Munich. I think Man City will get very close to the final. But yeah, another season where they don't win it. <laughs> As for the Europa League winners, Arsenal. Arsenal win the Europa League. Come on. And I'm going to go through why in the next few uh, weeks. Uh, like when the Europa League campaign starts, I'll talk a bit about it a bit more. The Carabao Cup will be won by Spurs. I just see them doing it. Uh, the FA Cup. I think Man City will claim that again. I do, I do. I feel like with Arsenal prioritising the Europa League and with what's going on in the league, I feel like we won't put the eggs into one basket of the FA Cup. Therefore, I think Man City will claim it. Maybe Chelsea, no, maybe Chelsea, then more Chelsea, yeah. But yeah, it's been your boy Gunnison. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. I hope you enjoy my little graphics if I put that here or there, you know. But yeah, it's been your boy Gunnison. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe. In a bit, people. In a bit.